If you're using a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 computer and you're facing issues with random black screen popping up here and there, which is super annoying, then I'm going to show you how easy it is to fix that within this video. So the first thing you want to do, guys, you simply go ahead and right click on your taskbar here and you simply want to open up your device manager. From here, you want to go in and expand monitors. And here you will find your generic monitor, right? So you want to simply go ahead and you want to right click on each of these and you want to simply do an update driver. Simply want to do the same, right click and do update driver. You can search online and you can update those drivers, right? Now the next thing that you want to do, guys, simply go ahead and do the same under your display adapter. So you want to expand the display adapter and you simply want to look for the NVIDIA and also for the X graphics. You can simply come here and you can do the update just the same as well. Just come here, search for online and you'll be able to check if there are other updates. Do it for both of them. Now, once you do this, guys, you want to go ahead and you move on to the next step. So go ahead, click the Windows key on your keyboard on your taskbar and simple type in power and you will find either edit power plan or choose power plan here. So I will go ahead and choose a power plan here. And from here, you want to see the current power plan that you're using. If you're using balance or high performance, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and click change plan settings, then click change advanced power settings. Now from here, you want to look for PCI Express. Now once you find this, expand it. And where you have the link state, expand this. Now what you want to do, guys, for each of these, whether it's on battery or it's plugged in, you want to go ahead and click on it and you want to expand it and you want to turn it off. So simply go ahead, expand both of them and you want to simply turn this off. Simply click apply, simply click OK, restart your computer. And that's all there is to it. They should definitely fix the issue for you.